Well, Dick, they passed their first test. The second round game, though, should prove to be more difficult between the NC State Wolfpack and the Baylor Bears. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Bears are looking at a very tough opponent, Dick. What have they got to do to win? Hey, they've got to do the following things if they want to be successful. First, don't let the other team dictate the tempo and the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Second of all, keep the mental mistakes to a minimum. Turnovers can be the story of this one, baby. Lastly, play as a five-man unit defensively. Have rhythm. Be ready to rotate. Help one another on penetration. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. He may be in trouble here, Brad. It's good. Both teams looking to get things going here. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. What a response. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. Stolen. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Got it. Instead of giving him that, he was a foul. Momentary look from three-point land. And he scores despite the hack. Trying to pack it inside. Up fake. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, great spin move to the basket. William picks up the foul. First team foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. High post flashes for the opportunity. Bailey receives the ball. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. Inside. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Moving it around the perimeter. Bed the low block. Here's a double team. Here's the three ball. He buries it. William handles the pass. In and out. Goes and gets it. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. He used the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> Pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Shows patience waiting for the reset. On the outside, Tinsley handles the feed. He uses the shot fake. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Defense giving some room. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Gave it up. And up. And drains the shot. 
The double team can't contain him. That's not how you work a double team, Brad. You and I got to go show him the double team. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the lazy pass. William receives the pass. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. With the board. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And in and out. He'll regroup the offense. Up and inside. Way out on top, controlling the ball, blocks the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The ball goes out of play. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. Number one set to record his first action. Hey, this guy will give you a great hustle on a defensive end of the floor. Bailey steps to the line for the first time. Free throw is good. Squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple grip position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Up and inside. The skip pass is picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it there. Oh, I tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. He puts up the tray. He hits it. Hey, he should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. i tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. And he keeps the dribble as they reset. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Puts it up. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He puts up the three ball. Gets it to fall. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. You're going to be seeing this one all week. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? From right in the circle. Off the rim and no good. Blake makes a great move to draw the foul.
Look at him now, Dick, celebrating with the cheerleaders. Now that's a spectacle. I love the zest in the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders? That's awesome, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Concentrate. Got to concentrate on that free throw line. Hits his second. Baylor are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. There's a double team waiting there. Bailey comes up with it. Bailey is feeling good. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Now he's got hops like you, man. He got hops like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. around the perimeter he blocks the shot looking for a good shot defensively doing a great job down there and he's winning that battle there I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out and that's how he's winning that battle The Bears have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. <laughs> On the outside, there's a bad pass right to the defender. Gets it back out. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Got the high pick. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? The Wolf Packs go to the line for the first time in this game. Makes his first. Gets his second. Moving it around the perimeter. about the shot. They'll work it around the arc. Working it around the perimeter. And a momentary look from three-point land. Way off target. Both teams looking to get things going here. They work the perimeter. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Harm and foul. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. NC State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Buried it. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. the perimeter gave it up he shoots from the angle makes it cue up the replay fellas yeah. 
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. He nails the bucket. They scored seven in a row. And the ball goes out of bounds. High post flashes for the ball handler. Hilton draws the personal. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. At the line. He got it. Both free throws go. On the outside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. There's the fake. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior. Great block shot. Kicks it out. My full screen, gonna use it. They'll work it around the arc. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Just their excitement with that jam. Has a nice look at the basket. He wants a three. Sinks the shot. On the inside, leaning in, trying to draw contact. He attempts the three, off the rim and no good. For the bucket, drains it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Up and inside. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. I love this guy, Hook. You can't unlock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? On the dribble, gives it up. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. 
High post screen. So effective that play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop, do a little dance. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Take that screen away. He takes the shot. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. On the outside. Goes up for two. You bet you. They work the perimeter. He unloads way off target. Looking for the foul. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Here's a flash from the high post. He unloads a three. He gets the bucket to fall. They work it around the perimeter. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. Now they work it around the perimeter. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. Two for one opportunity. And a momentary look from three point land. He shoots from the elbow. He makes the shot. Replay of the night, baby. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Now the high screen. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Puts up the shot. The Wolf back to find a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. At halftime, the Wolf Pack are trailing by six.
Baylor found themselves shooting very well, Dick, in that first half. Hey, that's a true sign of a well-coached team and a mature team. And we don't see too many mature teams. They're not mature like you, Mr. Nestle. <laughs> Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Erin. <laughs> Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Look at that spacing. He buries it. He's a high riser. Sensational, baby. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Controlling the ball. Stolen away. They get out on the break. Tries for two. And he scores it off the glass. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. From beyond the arc. That was nice. That's a seven zip run. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. Unloads a three. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand and not too long ago. <laughs> Sometimes timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. From the top of the key, off the rim and no good. There's the screen up on top. Baylor are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. They work it around the perimeter. He looks for three. He gets the bucket. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. Take it away. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert. Get the number game going. He takes it away. Buries it home. That's a 7 nothing run. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting post position. Good angle and then the drop step. Moving it around the perimeter. Steal. What a great strip. He nails the bucket. That's 11 unanswered.
Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. For two, sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. Looking for a good shot. From left of the circle. Tickles a twine. Up and inside. They work it around the perimeter. They work the perimeter. The point guard gets the ball. Watch out, the five-second count is getting close, Brad. Ten on the shot clock. Looks at the three. He shows the sweet touch. There's the trap. On the outside. Here's a double team. Got a nice screen. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. And a momentary look from three-point land. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. Double team now, bad angle. It's stolen. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. at a three. He drains the bucket. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. it up hard foul Dick you know we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups what are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far hey Brad sometimes comparisons can be misleading if your backcourt is weaker then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards keep them in check if you have strong backcourt play you must attack and exploit any mismatches sinks it He makes them all. Working it around the perimeter. Tries to get the D to bite. For two, perfectly executed. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I tell you, great spin move to the basket. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Thanks, Aaron. I tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Here's a nice face-up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. 
Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Cross court. Good job defensively. Fast break possibility coming. Easy look. Wow, let's check out the replay. He dials long distance. He knocks down another bucket there. This kid's got skills, Brad. Faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Picked out of the air. Trying to draw some contact. He's got some room. He takes a three. Knocks it down. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He tries the three ball. The Bears have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Grabby's on fire. That basketball. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to buy him the ball. Looking for a good shot. The shot from the baseline. The Bears have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. There's the rejection. Take a look right here. There it is. It says, get it out of here. Thou shalt not enter thy land. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, what a turn of events down here on the sidelines. The coaches and the players, they are feeling the heat, the message from the bench, defensive stops, and do it now. Thanks, Aaron. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. That bucket counts, and he'll go to the line. Hey, excellent job there. Join the foul and finish in the hoop. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. The center takes the pass. Steals the ball. With the jump hook. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? He comes away with it. Applying lots of pressure, Brad. And looking for the steal as well. They scored eight in a row. Takes the feed. That's 
that's been moves not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were looped. swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. loose but the defense got possession broke count it and the foul that's how he likes it baby I like it when the team gets to the free throw line it shows that they're being aggressive the key is to get to the line early in the game and off it Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From Roy to the circle, he gets the bucket to fall. He intercepts it. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Jumps into the defender. Great play to take that to the basket. He goes for three. He gets that one to fall. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The Bears have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Takes away the pass. Top of the circle. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. He shoots from the top of the key. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. This is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spin. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the talk to him. that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He drains the bucket. Strips the ball. They run it up into transition. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. <laughs> that one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. They come with a double team to stop it. Let's it fly. He gets it to fall. <laughs> he 
Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. With a bucket. Off the rim and no good. Easy one. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Full court pass. Looking for contact. Picks off the lazy pass. The fans start to chant. I love it, Brad. Only in college basketball, baby. Only in college basketball. They'll work it around the arc. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. Well, it's simple. They came out, executed a game plan, and ended up on top. Picks off the pass. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball with a goal. Strong. Picked out of the air. He shoots from the elbow. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, right? Very important. Intercepted. The power forward with the ball. He hits the shot. to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah, really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass he shoots from the top of the circle outside jumper won't go shot selection so important to winning man can't win if you don't take good shots gave it up steals the pass He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Up and inside. The power forward gets the pass. He shoots from outside. That's good. Oh, my. The screener is leveled by the defender on that pick. Dick, you've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. the State Farm drive of the game. I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Baylor is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids are looking to go all the way, baby. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.